To day is July 6th, and Pastor is saying to us, Be pleased about today. Our opening scripture comes from the book of 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 6 of the Amplified Classic. And it is, indeed, a source of immense profit for godliness accompanied with contentment, that contentment, which is a sense of inward sufficiency, is great and abundant gain. It's so inspiring to know that as a child of God, you can win and have a glorious life every day. A life that you can be happy about every day. A key factor for enjoying your life is learning to enjoy the process of growth. Learning to recognize and be satisfied with your present accomplishments as you aspire to greater heights. Some people are never satisfied with their lives. They carry an air of sadness and discontent all the time. This attitude worsens their situation, so they never really know what it means to be truly joyful. True joy is in fulfilling your God-given purpose, being in God's place at God's time for God's purpose in God's way. Nothing could be more fulfilling than that. Forget the missteps of yesterday. Don't be bothered about tomorrow. Enjoy today. The regrets of yesterday and apprehensions about tomorrow are enemies of today's happiness. If you aren't satisfied about today, tomorrow's dreams may never materialize. Being satisfied about today doesn't mean shelving your dreams for a greater tomorrow. It just underscores your hopefulness preparation, anticipation, and excitement for a more rewarding future. Hallelujah. Please say this prayer with me. Dear Father, I thank you for bringing my joy and fulfillment. I delight in who I am and all you've accomplished in and through me in Christ Jesus. I live victoriously today conscious and thankful that you perfect all that concerns me. Thus, I continue to maintain a joyful spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. For further study, please read Matthew chapter 6, verses 25 to 26, and Philippians chapter 4, verses 12 to 13. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read Acts chapter 18, verses 1 to 23, and Job chapters 9 to 11. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read Luke chapter 7, verses 1 to 10, and Deuteronomy chapter 34. Rhapsody of reality.